Thou seest many stars at night in the sky, but findest them not when the sun rises. Canst thou say that there are no stars then in the heaven of day? So, O man, because thou beholdest not the Almighty in the days of thy ignorance, say not that there is no God. As one and the same material, this water, is called by different names by different people, one calling it water, another vari, a third aqua, and another pani. So the one sat chit amanda, the everlasting intelligent bliss, is invoked by some as God, by some as Allah, by some as Hari, and by others as Brahman. Many are the names of God and infinite the forms that lead us to know Him. In whatsoever name or form you desire to call Him, in that very form and name you will see Him. As the same sugar is made into various figures of birds and beasts, so one sweet Mother Divine is worshipped in various climes and ages, under various names and forms. Different creeds are but different paths to reach the Almighty. As with one gold various ornaments are made, having different forms and names, so one God is worshipped in different countries and ages and has different forms and names. God is one, but his aspects are different. As one master of the house is father to one, brother to another, and husband to a third, and is called by these different names by those different persons. So one God is described and called in various ways according to the particular aspect in which he appears to his particular worshiper. In a potter's shop, there are vessels of different shapes and forms, pots, jars, dishes, plates, etc. But all are made of one clay. So God is one, but is worshipped in different ages and climes under different names and aspects. Man is like a pillowcase. The color of one may be red, another blue, another black, but all contain the same cotton. So it is with man. One is beautiful, one is black, another is holy, a fourth wicked, but the divine dwells in them all. It is true that God is even in the tiger, but we must not go and face the animal. So it is true that God dwells even in the most wicked, but it is not meant that we should associate with the wicked. As one kind of water may be used for washing our feet, another may serve the purpose of ablution, and others may be drunk, and others again may not be touched at all. So there are different kinds of places. We may approach some, we can enter into the inside of others. Others we must avoid, even at a distance. Put the pot with its ingredients on the fire. It will be so hot as to burn your finger when you touch it. But the heat does not belong to the pot, nor anything contained in it, but is in the fire. So it is the fire of Brahman in man that causes the mind and the senses to perform their functions, and when that fire ceases to act, the senses also, or the organs, stop. God tells the thief to go and steal, and at the same time warns the householder against the thief. As Fishes playing in a pond covered with reeds and scum cannot be seen from outside. So God 
plays in the heart of a man, invisibly, being screened by Maya from human view. As a boy begins to learn writing by drawing big scrawls before he can master the small hand, so must we learn concentration of the mind by fixing it first on forms. And when we have attained success therein, we can easily fix it upon the formless. God is formless and is with form too. And he is that which transcends both form and formlessness. He alone can say what else he is.